Ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. Another episode that is going to blow your mind. We have found a woman. Now, I'm not sure if this is a joke or not. It seems serious to me. Um, When I got it sent to me, it was on a serious page. Um, This woman says her son identifies as a cat. You heard that right. Um, Her son identifies as a cat. Not only that, but watch what happens when she tries to take her her cat. Hold on now, let me let me let me get it correct. When she tries to take her cat to a vet instead of a doctor. Let's see. My son does identify as a cat, but I cannot take him to a vet because I tried that, and the veterinarian told me that because he has human anatomy. So she tried to take her child to a vet. Are you hearing this? I can't make this stuff up. I can't make this stuff up. She tried to take her human being son who identifies as a cat to the vet. Boy, oh boy. This, this, now listen, because some of y'all be saying things like, it's not mental illness, you know? They just identify like that. They just, they just, that's who they are. They're being true to themselves. When I say it's mental illness, you look at me crazy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you just said that, Isaiah. How dare you? Exhibit A. Exhibit A! Don't tell me a grown woman that their child told them they're a cat. First of all, how did the cat tell you it's a cat? Meow, 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 meow. How? Cats don't talk. I'm, I, I, I don't know I had enough about in this episode. This woman was told by her child that it's a cat. And in her mind, she said, oh, my Lord, you, you, you sure about this? You know what? If you sure, then you must be a cat. Listen, I can't tell you how you feel inside. You only know how you feel inside. It doesn't matter what my eyes see. If you think you're a cat, well, by golly, you're a cat. <laughs> oh, gosh. oh, my Lord. I'm just saying because some of y'all get on my head for saying that it's it's issues there. It's mental issues there. What do you think about this? Am I still wrong for saying that? That he does not know how to to work on him or diagnose him with anything. Um, and he legally cannot. So, and while I do think that is a form of discrimination. Oh, my Lord. Because the vet said they can't work on the son because they're not tr- actually a real cat she's saying it's discrimination oh my lord i can't make this stuff up you cannot make this stuff up my lord because you know my son if he says he's a cat he is a cat there it is there it is there it is there it is Listen to me. You know why this is scary? Because this is the type of person that if her son brought home another cat and said, this is my fiance, I'm going to marry this cat. This is the type of parent that would be like, oh, my gosh, congratulations, son. Congratulations, son. And really treat the cat like a woman. And know that this son is going back to the house and being intimate with this cat bestiality at that point but it would be okay with them because they have put it in their mind completely they've gone into such a delusion they have such a spirit on them of delusion clouding their judgment and discernment they're so lost in it that they can't see truth They've gone such, they've come into such agreement that the stronghold on them is completely blocking off sanity and common sense. 
Lord, have mercy. Continue. Um, and he needs to be treated like that, like one, you know. But um, he needs to be treated like a cat. Okay. Uh, now, at this point, I'm wondering if she has a kitty litter box for this son of hers. I'm not going to press charges because I know that he could lose his license if I. My son does. You not going to press charges because you know he could lose his license, my lord. Lord, help us. Lord, help us. Because it starts off small. You might think that it's innocent with these pronouns and it's, it's they, them, he, she. You might think it's innocent, but it starts off there. And then that. What's in them manifests more and more. And it gets bigger, it gets bigger, it gets bigger, it gets bigger, it gets bigger. And you end up in a space like this. In full confusion, in full compromise and agreement with wickedness. Believe it or not, that's wickedness that they're in agreement with. That's wickedness that's growing in them. Confusion. It's, it's of the enemy. It's not of God. It's not of God. They're in a full space, space of darkness, a full space of delusion. May the Lord rescue them. They don't know who God is. They're in, a, they're in this avatar thinking that this is it. They think that this planet is it. They don't know about the spiritual aspect of life. They do not know about eternity. Clearly, they are stuck in this realm. Clearly, they are stuck in this reality, not knowing that there's more after it. That's exactly what the enemy wants, to confuse you to that point where you don't even realize, that, that, where you don't even realize there's a God, where you don't even realize that this is just an avatar, where you don't even realize who you're meant to be, which is a child of God. Just wants to confuse you and believe in believing that you're just creation and nothing else should come after that. Nothing else should come up, come, come after that, come with knowing who the Lord is. Just stuck in who you are. This is why children of God need to speak out and be the salt of the earth. Be light. Hallelujah. To penetrate the darkness that's that that's holding these people. Believe it or not, you can be blind if you want to and deaf if you want to, but darkness is holding these people. Darkness is holding these people. The spirit of delusion. They are under a dark cloud, and it's going to take a child of God to penetrate that dark cloud. It's going to take the, uh, the light of Christ illuminating through us, being a reflection of Christ, for them to see. It's going to take a trumpet. Hallelujah. It's going to take a high priest. Hallelujah. It's going to take a sacrifice of you dying to your flesh so Christ can live in you and them to see him. Hallelujah. That's what it's going to take. Who's going to do it? Hallelujah to the Lord raising his army, raising his remnant. Thank you, Father. Consume us with your fire, Lord, so that when we get across these people and around these people, they feel that heat. Hallelujah. Lord, bring your light, Father. Hallelujah. Let me know what your comments are. Let me know what your, what your, what your opinions are in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's like I say on my other videos. Don't know if this video is going to stay up because of the context and the content. So go to patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin. If it happens to go away, or if you want to see more videos that have been taken down, or if you just want to support, hallelujah. If you want to support, you can go here, patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin. I truly appreciate it. And for all my Patreons that are already my Patreons, I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, on this one right here. And listen, if there's other videos you want me to see, you guys, put the links in the comments, okay? I will look and, um, you know, most likely... We'll talk about it on here, and we'll talk about it together and look at it together. Amen. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.